for such a long time, for six months, my car only pumped around 95 once or twice. And does my mom only use 97 instead of 95? Now, you heard of many people saying that if you pump 95 into a premium car like an Audi, a BMW, a Mercedes or a Jag, what you get is a very, um, a very degraded performance output. The engine becomes not so smooth and some people even say that their engines become very rough. Okay, so with this Iris, this Iris comes with four cylinders, VVT technology uh, and a CVT transmission. And yeah, that's about it. But the thing is that when we tried 95 on this car, what happens is that uh, the engine becomes very rough. Okay, that means like when my mom accelerates, right, the the increase of speed becomes quite inconsistent and speaking about vibrations and noise it will be two times as loud compared to using 97 okay and of course everything just feels like you know when you use 95 on this iris you know it the the, the car suddenly it feels like a tractor it feels like a 1990 toyota hilux not to insult Hilux because I personally like Hilux quite a lot but the, the whole car just feels like a uh, diesel all right it just doesn't it does not feel refined it doesn't feel comfortable but right now we use 97 or sometimes even run 100 okay so what this does is that with run 100 or run 97 my car my car makes no sound at 80 km per hour I'm serious, if you, if one day I have a chance to film this car driving at 80 km per hour, I'll try to do it, okay? So, what, what you experience is that the engine is smooth, okay? Uh, you can feel lesser, you, you can somehow feel lesser of the CVT jerk if you use RON 97 and, you know, it just suddenly feels, <laughs> the, the, car, the car feels like a Japanese, like maybe it suddenly feels like a Nissan, uh, a Nissan Note. It suddenly feels like a Honda Jazz and it, it could even feel like a Toyota Yaris with 97 or run 100 everything just feels uh, more refined more quiet and the engine becomes slightly more powerful as expected but is it necessary to pump run 100 for this Campro VVT engine in my opinion I don't think so because number one everyone will say that it uses more of your money that is uh, true you can't control that but on the other hand right 97 is actually the it is actually all you need you know you don't need to pump run 100 just to show off to all of your, all of your friends you know what's the point of showing off when you can't even actually afford run 100 or we power racing remember to choose the feel which is suitable for a car okay but sometimes if if your car is okay with 95 or 97 you know what go for 97 here's why okay I got this idea from Bobby Ang's video okay I'm a Horizon Evo Malaysia fan so I normally follow up with almost most of their videos and what he says is that since 2008 okay uh, the prices of fuels have increased a lot and then uh, how he overcome how he overcome the feeling of anxiety is that he just goes for the most expensive fuel as possible if he finds a petrol station with run 100 he goes with run 100 he doesn't go for 95 or 97 because I mean what he says is true we cannot control the price of petrol I mean if I had the pr if I have the the ability to control the fuel prices right I would definitely pound run 100 for the price of run 92 you know but that is not possible uh, yeah so like my mom I really admire, admire her because you know she uses the best fuel available for our cars and what this means is that our cars run in its optimum condition that means that when we drive uh, from JB to KL for example we don't feel uh, as uncomfortable as people who use run 95 because basically our engines are able to run at higher speeds in a in a smoother pace yeah and to me i think that that is worth it you know although run 97 costs a lot but it definitely makes your car feel and run a lot better compared to using run 95